Second Chronicles chapter 8 It came to pass at the end of twenty years, when Solomon had built the house of the Lord in his own house, that the cities which Hiram had given to Solomon, Solomon built them, and he settled the children of Israel there. And Solomon went to Hamath Zobah, and seized it. He also built Tadmor in the wilderness, and all the storage cities which he built in Hamath. He built Upper Beth Haran and Lower Beth Haran, fortified cities with walls, gates, and bars, also Baalath, and all the storage cities that Solomon had, and all the chariot cities, and the cities of the cavalry, and all that Solomon desired to build in Jerusalem, in Lebanon, and in all the land of his dominion. And all the people who were left of the Hittites, Amorites, Perizzites, Hivites, and Jebusites, who were not of Israel, that is, their descendants who were left in the land after them, whom the children of Israel did not destroy, from these Solomon raised forced labor, as it is to this day. But Solomon did not make the children of Israel servants for his work. Some were men of war, captains of his officers, captains of his chariots, and his cavalry. And others were chiefs of the officials of King Solomon, two hundred and fifty, who ruled over the people. Now Solomon brought the daughter of Pharaoh up from the city of David to the house he had built for her, for he said, My wife shall not dwell in the house of David king of Israel, because the places to which the ark of the Lord has come are holy. Then Solomon offered burnt offerings to the Lord on the altar of the Lord, which he had built before the vestibule, according to the daily rate, offering according to the commandment of Moses, for the Sabbaths, the new moons, and the three appointed yearly feasts, the feast of unleavened bread, the feast of weeks, and the feast of tabernacles. And according to the order of David his father, he appointed the divisions of the priests for their service, the Levites for their duties, to praise and serve before the priests, as the duty of each day required, and the gatekeepers by their divisions at each gate. For so David the man of God had commanded. They did not depart from the command of the king to the priests and Levites concerning any matter or concerning the treasuries. Now all the work of Solomon was well ordered from the day of the foundation of the house of the Lord until it was finished. So the house of the Lord was completed. Then Solomon went to ezion Geber and Elath in the seacoast and in the land of Edom. And Hiram sent him ships by hand of his servants and the servants who knew the sea. They went with the servants of Solomon to Ophir, and acquired four hundred and fifty talents of gold from there, and brought it to King Solomon. Second Chronicles chapter 9 Now when the queen of Sheba heard of the fame of Solomon, she came to Jerusalem to test Solomon with hard questions, having a very great retinue, camels that bore spices, gold in abundance, and precious stones. And when she came to Solomon, she spoke with him about all that was in her heart. So Solomon answered all her questions. There was nothing so difficult for Solomon that he could not explain it to her. And when the queen of Sheba had seen the wisdom of Solomon, the house that he had built, the food on his table, the seating of his servants, the service of his waiters and their apparel, his cupbearers and their apparel, and his entryway by which he went up to the house of the Lord, there was no more spirit in her. Then she said to the king, It was a true report which I heard in my own land about your words and your wisdom. However, I did not believe their words until I came and saw with my own eyes, and indeed the half of the greatness of your wisdom was not told me. You exceed the fame of which I heard. Happy are your men, and happy are these your servants who stand continually before you, and hear your wisdom. Blessed be the Lord your God, who delighted in you, setting you on his throne to be king for the Lord your God, because your God has loved Israel, to establish them forever. Therefore he made you king over them, to do justice and righteousness. And she gave the king one hundred and twenty talents of gold, spices in great abundance, and precious stones. There never were any spices, such as those the queen of Sheba gave to King Solomon. Also the servants of Hiram, and the servants of Solomon, who brought gold from Ophir, brought algum wood and precious stones. 
And the king made walkways of the algum wood for the house of the Lord, and for the king's house, also harps and stringed instruments for singers. And there were none such as these seen before in the land of Judah. Now King Solomon gave to the queen of Sheba all she desired, whatever she asked, much more than she had brought to the king. So she turned and went to her own country, she and her servants. The weight of gold that came to Solomon yearly was six hundred and sixty-six talents of gold, besides what the traveling merchants and traders brought. And all the kings of Arabia and the governors of the country brought gold and silver to Solomon. And King Solomon made two hundred large shields of hammered gold. Six hundred shekels of hammered gold went into each shield. He also made three hundred shields of hammered gold. Three hundred shekels of gold went into each shield. The king put them in the house of the forest of Lebanon. Moreover, the king made a great throne of ivory, and overlaid it with pure gold. The throne had six steps, with a footstool of gold, which were fastened to the throne. There were armrests on either side of the place of the seat, and two lions stood beside the armrests. Twelve lions stood there, one on each side of the six steps. Nothing like this had been made for any other kingdom. All Solomon's drinking vessels were gold, and all the vessels of the house of the forest of Lebanon were pure gold. Not one was silver, for this was accounted as nothing in the days of Solomon. For the king's ship went to Tarshish with the servants of Hiram. Once every three years the merchant ships came, bringing gold, silver, ivory, apes, and monkeys. So King Solomon surpassed all the kings of the earth in riches and wisdom. And all the kings of the earth sought the presence of Solomon to hear his wisdom, which God had put in his heart. Each man brought his present, articles of silver and gold, garments, armor, spices, horses, and mules, at a set rate year by year. Solomon had four thousand stalls for horses and chariots, and twelve thousand horsemen whom he stationed in the chariot cities, and with the king at Jerusalem. So he reigned over all the kings from the river to the land of the Philistines, as far as the border of Egypt. The king made silver as common in Jerusalem as stones and he made cedar trees as abundant as the sycamores which were in the lowland. And they brought horses to Solomon from Egypt, and from all lands. Now the rest of the Acts of Solomon, first and last, are they not written in the book of Nathan the prophet, in the prophecy of Ahijah the Shilonite, and in the visions of Iddo the seer concerning Jeroboam the son of Nebat? Solomon reigned in Jerusalem over all Israel, forty years. Then Solomon rested with his fathers, and was buried in the city of David his father, and Rehoboam his son reigned in his place. Second Chronicles chapter 10 And Rehoboam went to Shechem, for all Israel had gone to Shechem to make him king. So it happened, when Jeroboam the son of Nebat heard it, he was in Egypt, where he had fled from the presence of King Solomon that Jeroboam returned from Egypt. Then they sent for him and called him. And Jeroboam and all Israel came and spoke to Rehoboam, saying, Your father made our yoke heavy. Now, therefore, lighten the burdensome service of your father and his heavy yoke which he put on us, and we will serve you. And he said to them, Come back to me after three days. And the people departed. Then King Rehoboam consulted the elders who stood before his father Solomon while he still lived, saying, How do you advise me to answer these people? And they spoke to him, saying, If you are kind to these people, and please them, and speak good words to them, they will be your servants forever. But he rejected the advice which the elders had given him, and consulted the young men who had grown up with him, who stood before him. And he said to them, What advice do you give? How should we answer this people who have spoken to me, saying, Lighten the yoke which your father put on us? Then the young men who had grown up with him spoke to him, saying, Thus you should speak to the people who have spoken to you, saying, Your father made our yoke heavy, but you make it lighter on us. Thus you shall say to them, My little finger shall be thicker than my father's waist. 
And now, whereas my father put a heavy yoke on you, I will add to your yoke. My father chastised you with whips, but I will chastise you with scourges. So Jeroboam and all the people came to Rehoboam on the third day, as the king had directed, saying, Come back to me the third day. Then the king answered them roughly. King Rehoboam rejected the advice of the elders, and he spoke to them according to the advice of the young men, saying, My father made your yoke heavy, but I will add to it. My father chastised you with whips, but I will chastise you with scourges. So the king did not listen to the people, for the turn of events was from God, that the Lord might fulfill his word which he had spoken by the hand of Ahijah the Silonite to Jeroboam the son of Nebat. Now when all Israel saw that the king did not listen to them, the people answered the king, saying, What share have we in David? We have no inheritance in the son of Jesse. Every man to your tents, O Israel. Now see to your own house, O David. So all Israel departed to their tents. But Rehoboam reigned over the children of Israel who dwelt in the cities of Judah. Then king Rehoboam sent to Hadaram, who was in charge of revenue. But the children of Israel stoned him with stones, and he died. Therefore king Rehoboam mounted his chariot in haste to flee to Jerusalem. So Israel has been in rebellion against the house of David to this day. Second Chronicles chapter 11 Now when Rehoboam came to Jerusalem, he assembled from the house of Judah and Benjamin, one hundred and eighty thousand chosen men who were warriors to fight against Israel, that he might restore the kingdom to Rehoboam. But the word of the Lord came to Shemaiah, the man of God, saying, Speak to Rehoboam the son of Solomon, king of Judah, and to all Israel in Judah and Benjamin, saying, Thus says the Lord, You shall not go up or fight against your brethren. Let every man return to his house, for this thing is from me. Therefore they obeyed the words of the Lord, and turned back from attacking Jeroboam. So Rehoboam dwelt in Jerusalem, and built cities for defense in Judah. And he built Bethlehem, Etam, Tekoa, Beth-zer, Soko, Adullam, Gath, Merashah, Ziph, Adoram, Lachish, Azekah, Zorah, Ijalon, and Hebron, which are in Judah, and Benjamin fortified cities. And he fortified the strongholds, and put captains in them, and stores of food, oil, and wine. Also in every city he put shields and spears, and made them very strong, having Judah and Benjamin on his side. And from all their territories the priests and the Levites who were in all Israel took their stand with him. For the Levites left their common lands and their possessions, and came to Judah in Jerusalem. For Jeroboam and his sons had rejected them from serving as priests to the Lord. Then he appointed for himself priests for the high places, for the demons and the calf idols which he had made. And after the Levites left, those from all the tribes of Israel, such as set their heart to seek the Lord God of Israel, came to Jerusalem to sacrifice to the Lord God of their fathers. So they strengthened the kingdom of Judah, and made Rehoboam the son of Solomon strong for three years, because they walked in the way of David and Solomon for three years. Then Rehoboam took for himself his wife Mahalath, the daughter of Jeremoth, the son of David, and Abihail, the daughter of Eliah, the son of Jesse. And she bore him children, Jeush, Shemariah, and Zaham. After her he took Maacah, the granddaughter of Absalom. And she bore him Abijah, Atai, Ziza, and Shelemeth. Now Rehoboam loved Maacah, the granddaughter of Absalom, more than all his wives and his concubines. For he took eighteen wives and sixty concubines, and begot twenty-eight sons and sixty daughters. And Rehoboam appointed Abijah, the son of Maacah, as chief, to be leader among his brothers for he intended to make him king. He dealt wisely, and dispersed some of his sons throughout all the territories of Judah and Benjamin, to every fortified city, and he gave them provisions in abundance. He also sought many wives for them. 